Scorpio, welcome to your lunar eclipse in Taurus reading, and I hope this finds you well. And let me say that over the next six months for Scorpio Risings, this is going to be impacting your seventh house of long-term committed partnerships. Could be business partnerships, could be marriage. These are the significant others in your life might have to do with contracts as well. And I am seeing some frustration here, okay? Some of you might be dealing with debt right now. And it might have to do with some kind of partnership you've gotten yourself involved in. Why I'm getting something about creeping in the night, lurking in the night, and I'm getting something about uh, frustrating you. Some of you are under so much stress that you're, um, <clears throat> uh, this is not for everybody, but <clears throat> some of you are getting your adrenals tapped out. It's messing up your gut. Some of you are dealing with a uh, leaky gut syndrome because of years of residual, constant, chronic, ongoing stress. It's not for everybody, but for some of you, it, it is not relevant, but it is a warning that if you uh, don't get control of this, and it might be at night, what you're thinking about at night, that something is nagging at you and wearing on you. And it's a constant, I'm getting constant companion that if you do not address this, uh, that it could, you know, result in health issues later on, if not currently. For others of you, I am getting also a strong, this is a, Somebody you have partnered with is frustrating you, a frustrating partner or matters of life partnership or business partnership or contract is frustrating you, okay? And I see you trying to disconnect and move on because it's right, it's not bringing you to the happy place. Maybe you got involved in it because at some point it, it you got some kind of fulfillment off of it, but it wasn't the end all be all. There's something missing here. And so the main issue is for some of you, yeah, what's nagging you is that you might be feeling over the next six months frustration from, you know, being single. Frustration that you don't have this life partner. I see in the past that you were um, reevaluating something, seeing if you wanted to give something a second chance. In the future, I see you holding back. The main issue is you're trying to manifest something here in your life. The outcome is that there's an issue of give and take in these relationships. Whatever is frustrating you, I mean, obviously, clearly, you're trying to get away from it. You're trying to um, emotionally disconnect. I'm being told to go back at this. Hold on one second. I'm getting, but that at some point, this was replenishing you, but it's almost like the well is drying up. I'm getting something like the well is drying up. The water is stagnant. The water is not like whatever was replenishing you has become stagnant and drying up and that's frustrating you and you're, you're just going on to something that's fresh and new and clean and flowing and healing and i'm seeing both of these alone okay so even if you are in a marriage or a committed partnership there might be a feeling of you're having to go after what you want uh, what emotionally fulfills you and what materially provides for you. you're having to kind of go it on your own there's a lot of uh mentally restless energy you may be inquiring more about this currently um looking into other romantic partners thinking um idealizing wishing hoping dreaming within your mind of i don't want to say longing but wanting something ideal to come in i mean you know at this rate no offense i'm not trying to crush anybody's dreams here but you know i've been on this rock for damn near 50 years and uh I hadn't seen too much ideal going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is a lot of dreamy, wishful thinking, but you're looking, maybe some of you may be going, if you're, particularly if, if you're single or you, if maybe you're in a relationship, but you feel alone, you're looking at your options, your romantic options. Some of you may be doing online dating. Some of you just Neptuning out in fantasy land. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, like romance novels. Um, oh, oh, I mean, I, I have something here like, did I don't know that you're necessarily looking at romance novels, but are you using tarot uh, love readings to as a form of escapism for what's not there in your life wow judgment card clarifying judgment card so it almost looks to me like some of you are, are maybe thinking about uh, getting a new or you were thinking about giving something a second chance to but you were hoping that maybe this a second time around that it would be more stable or solid 
some of you might have had to do with a new home, a new job, some kind of new material opportunity. But again, something that you were trying to manifest in the 3D, something you could taste, touch, you know, smell, feel, right? Whatever that is, you're trying to, I'm seeing the manifestation there and there. But I really think that you were really evaluating within yourself, is this going to be a wise investment? And I think in the future, you decide you're going to hold back. And it might be because yeah, somebody doesn't have a lot to give to this. Again, there might be an issue of debt. I saw it there, there, some of you being very frugal and what you or another person can bring to this page of pentacles is not a lot. There may in the future be some kind of new financial opportunity or offer like a job that comes in or some kind of good money news. Or are you trying to set some goals so that you can pull out of this debt or this lack or this loss? But I see you just being really frugal and not putting a lot in on this in the future. And I see this going on, I'm sorry to say, over the next four to five years. I know, who wants to hear that? But really, I mean, if you look at what's going on in the world, and we're talking about a lot of coins here, you look at what's going on in the world, like, it's happening all around. Everybody's having to tighten, tighten things up with their purse strings. If this is not about money, this is about what you value. And yes, with this lunar energy in Taurus, this has been the last year and a half of us re-evaluating, changing our values, especially you, because you've really been hit with this, by the way. Breathe a sigh of relief. That's, we're almost done with that, right? So I do see you trying to manifest something, um, and it might have to do, again, with your love life of, you know, you, um, <laughs> queen of wands, yes, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could also be a seductress. You trying to find some understanding in relationships. You putting yourself out there and maybe dating. Okay. Wow, there's like, there's a lot of repeat, 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 okay? But there's something going on with an exchange. That's rough. Where you are realizing that the give and take in some of these relationships, and this is over the next six years, uh, the give and take in some of these relationships I'm hearing unsustainable because what makes you happy, you going after what makes you happy, there may be some kind of imbalance in the exchange where somebody either is not going to be able to give to that, they can't or they won't, or it's not enough. And so there might be a fallout in some of the exchanges in these relationships because they can't or won't give you what is going to bring you into that nine of cups. Remember, we started with the eight and the outcome, you get your nine of cups. But to get your Nine of Cups, you have to identify which exchanges are going to bring you to the Nine of Cups and which ones aren't. And unfortunately, there's going to be some kind of fallout here. Where's the closure message? You taught me so much. I wasn't prepared. I just wasn't ready. Oh, it's this right here in the near future. You're going to see it. What happened was unfair, right? There's something with the exchange that's not fair. I support you in doing what's best for you. Sorry, but I'm too proud to say I'm sorry. I want to see you happy. And I want to look real quick at, you know, what, what is it that you need, that you value, that you're not getting, okay, that you really need to hone in on with these relationships and the exchanges. And I'm getting acceptance of my portion in life, submitting to life's circumstances, tradition, and also equality, equal opportunity for all. So I think you want somebody who's going to be adding as much value to you as you add to them. And you want something that is more of a traditional exchange. And I think you're also looking for some acceptance, okay? And the advice, nothing will come of this situation. So I think this is maybe a fear that you have or whatever's worrying you, or it might have to do with debt. Balance, spirituality, and practicality is also the advice. Be blessed.